Jack Lohoko. Uh, it's been a good year. I've been traveling quite a bit. I was in Otsuaran. Has anyone ever been to Otsuaran? Yes. Uh, six of you. That's great. That's great. <laughs> to go to Otsuaran, you have to fly to George, right? But the airport in George is the same size as this room. <laughs> but they still have the nerve to have a conveyor belt for your luggage. <laughs> like, fuck you guys. The pilot can give me this thing. <laughs> You are wasting electricity. Open the boot, open the boot. <laughs> the airport in Georgia is so small, it shouldn't be called the airport, right? It should be called like a fly machine taxi rank. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it doesn't even have a mug and bean, which is the mainstay of every airport. Having said that, guys, screw mug and bean, right? Because you order a snack, they bring you a muffin the size of a newborn baby's head. <laughs> You're like, when am I supposed to eat this thing, right? Now you're asking for a doggy bag for a muffin. <laughs> like that's so unsophisticated, you know what I mean? <laughs> Having to check in your muffin as hand luggage. It's bullshit, man. <laughs> Fly SFA doesn't play that shit. <laughs> but it's nice, traveling's always great, but I got a little bit sick in Oaksworth, so I bought some Barocca. Don't know if you guys know this, but every Barocca has a label that says this medicine was not in any way designed to cure treat or prevent any illness. Then I'm thinking the least I want from my medicine is for it to have self-esteem. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't want humble Corenza. And it's like, excuse me, we heard you were coughing. How long are you gonna be around? Like, I don't have time for that shit, right? On the other end of the spectrum, you have VIX. VIX is the most confident medicine you have ever met in your life. VIX is like, tell me what the problem is, I will sort you out. <laughs> Guys, VIX is so confident. It's like, you don't even have to put me inside of you. Just rub me on your chest and I'll take it from here. <laughs> that is the next level of medicine. That's why I work hard as a stand-up comedian, so I have medical aid. But even if you've got medical aid, you can still get screwed, right? Is there anyone here on Discovery? Oh, I love Discovery, right? You get the bill, you discover they pay for fuck all. It's an incredible <laughs> arrangement for all of us. But at least you got an Apple Watch, you know what I mean? <laughs> at least. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about Christmas. Christmas is coming up. I spend Christmas with my family in Katleong. It's a great time to be there in Christmas, because normally in the township, we're used to eating food named after places we might never go in our lives. French bologna, <laughs> Swiss roll, <laughs> the Russian. <laughs> Guys, there's no one in Russia eating a kota going Nasta Rovia. Like, <laughs> where is the Acha? You know what I mean? Like, that's not a thing. Because people come out, and on Christmas, you have to look well, right? You always have to make sure you're fresh. Because you don't want to be that one cousin where the aunts are like, but uh, we thought they were living in the suburbs. <laughs> This does not look like the vibe of the suburbs. So you go, I get my hair cut. I go to barber shops that have photos on the wall of people who've never been there. <laughs> you know, you're like, guys, Rihanna has never cut her hair in Bramfontein. <laughs> Don't lie to us. Like back in the day, I used to have cornrows. And black women, you didn't warn us about cornrows. Didn't tell us they can be too tight then you can't move your neck. <laughs> now you are trying to greet your friends. Makene! <laughs> yeah, it's happening over here. <laughs> Got my hair cut in the township. Black guys, we need to speak to our pavas. This thing of methylated spirits has to stop. <laughs> Cause that shit burns, huh? But you must act normal in that chair. <laughs> yeah, tell up, boy, tell up. <laughs> yeah, and then chill. <laughs> Pull out of my chair, sure, sure. <laughs> no, I'm fine, no, I'm fine. <laughs> huh? No, I'm, no, sure. <laughs> no, is there someone cooking with onions? Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, do you, have, do you have Vaselina? No, it's for my lips. It's not, but I'll work my way up. 
The guy's like, do you want to see? No, Nyak Tamba, I trust you. I've been here many times before. Next week, no, someone's going to die at home. Where's your how much? <laughs> Ever had your barber fuck up your hair so much you don't recognize yourself in the mirror? Yo, yo, yo. I need a new ID photo. <laughs> They're there at the airport. No, this is not you, Mr. Luku. This is somebody else. <laughs> Chilling there on Christmas Day. Christmas is a weird time. ETV playing phantom movies. <laughs> You're like, this is not in the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> this is not what the Lord meant by turn the other cheek. You know what I mean? Like that. In my house, we like to watch The Lion King. Watch The Lion King again. I'm going to say something a little bit controversial. But I watched The Lion King, and I think Simba was a little bit of a bitch. I'm not going to lie. No. No, because they kill his father. He goes into exile to eat strawberries with a warthog. I'm like, what the fuck, dog? Avenge your family. Come on. Petrol bomb, something. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. Protest. Do something, Simba. He's there. Hakuna Matata. For the rest of your days. Hasn't renewed his driver's license. Clientele is trying to call him. <laughs> Simba, you've got a policy. Does not give a fuck, living his best life. <laughs> that movie was weird, because it taught me that if your uncle has different hair color than you, he might murder your father. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just watch that uncle who's going gray before everyone else. <laughs> He's on the lookout. <laughs> Scar! Scar was the uncle. It was a fucked up movie, remember, ma'am? Right? Simba was going to inherit a chimp company. Guys, it's literally in his name. It's called Simba Chips. <laughs> You're slaying all the other children down. Come on now. <laughs> then his uncle was like, fuck that, right? His uncle was Scar, right? If you name me Scar, I'd also be a little bit of an asshole, right? Like I've done other shit in my life. You can't name me because of an accident. You know what I mean? Like I've got a metric. I sometimes go to the gym. I've got other fucking qualities to me. So we're sitting there, we're watching this movie, and when it's Christmas, people want to make small talk. That doesn't make sense. Uncles are there, so how's school? You're like, hey, it's a little bit weird. Why? No, they're teaching us shit we'll never use later in our lives. Like they teach you in schools, if you encounter a sexual predator, what must you do? You must go, this is my body, my body. Guys, that has never stopped a pedophile ever in their life. <laughs> never has a pedophile been like, oh shit, he knows the words. <laughs> yeah, they're explaining school. Because you live in a fucked up neighborhood, but you go to a good school, but your friends would never know until it's market day, right? Because you're like, in my household, nobody knows how to make chocolate cupcakes. I hope these guys like Maquinha and Paloni. <laughs> Otherwise, you are fucked, you are fucked. Now you're explaining Maquinha to your friends at school. No, a fat cake is like the croissant of the township. <laughs> sometimes we eat with jam, sometimes it means... 50 cents a pop, you gotta sell like a fucking a thousand of these to make a hundred rand. <laughs> Bullshit, man. Hanging out at home. Sometimes we have those scones, you know those scones, black people love scones. Sometimes they make our way into a funeral. Do you know the ones? Those dry scones, while you're eating them, you are like, Lord, take me instead. You're like... <laughs> it never made sense to me. Remember in the beginning, there was nothing. Then the Lord made the heavens and the earth, then made Adam out of dust, right? Adam would go into the woods, forage, be bored, have a wank, and the Lord was like, I can't watch this forever. <laughs> So the Lord made Eve not out of dust, out of a rib, right? Because Adam had gone to spur before the incident. 
And he was about to throw away the ribs. And the Lord was like, we are waster. I don't know why Hebrew sounds like Zulu. That's not their point. <laughs> Remember Adam and Eve stayed in the Garden of Edenvale. It's just off the N3. <laughs> and there was one rule to stay in the garden, right? It was that you couldn't eat from the tree. And one day Adam and Eve were playing snake on their 3310, chowed some mushrooms and the snake came to life. It was like, wow, you guys are living this Android life. Why don't you try an apple? And that's when everything, like, fell apart. That's when it all fell apart. Because we're there with the family. Normally we eat weird, weird shit, right? Because on Christmas, everybody brings out the spread, right? You've got the roast fucking whatever's, and you've got the trifle. Everyone loves trifle. Nobody hates trifle. You just hate a layer. <laughs> you, know, you don't hate trifle, you hate custard. Don't fuck around, don't put it on the whole dish. You just hate custard. Because I remember growing up, I only realized much later in my life that we had grown up tough, right? When I had a full fish at the age of 11, but I'd grown up eating the fingers. <laughs> now, where in your life have you seen a fish with fingers? No one's ever been on the coast of Hermanas and seen a shark go, West Side! <laughs> it's not a thing. Blackberries don't play Dead Father Christmas shit. Can't work the whole year, then give somebody else credit. <laughs> they will fucking let you know this day, this. Yeah, here's the receipt even, here's the receipt. <laughs> I had to buy the batteries separate. <laughs> That's for next Christmas. <laughs> Ever had your toy fuck out and then all you've got left is the batteries? <laughs> now you are back to your imagination. <laughs> Double A! You're a positive. <laughs> Christmas is tough. A lot of us grew up getting fucked up gifts. Remember those green soldiers that never moved? <laughs> they are firing duck! I said duck! <laughs> There's always one guy just like lying down. <laughs> Bro, are you on Instagram while we are fighting? <laughs> In <laughs> Sometimes you hang out at home, Christmas day, everything's going all right. You have that last meal. And we, what we do now is we bounce. After that dinner, we're out. We can't stay the whole night. But we fucked up once, went to the strip club after Christmas dinner, right? No, because there's some people who are not lucky enough to see their family. So you must also show them some love. You know what I mean? <laughs> So we went to this lovely establishment. I don't know if you've ever seen, man, they do this lovely dance at the strip club. Have you ever seen this lovely, this? Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know whether to give money or a panado for the bad back. It's a very strange transaction for all of us. So we're there at the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> And I recognize one of the lovely ladies on stage, right? I walk up, up to her rather, try to give her a hug. She stops me. She's like, no! This is... Just fucking around. You guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much for listening. Good night. Cheers. Bye.